Hello class. I'd like to take a moment to go over our first essay assignment. So essay number one, short analysis essay one, should be between 500 and 750 words, about two to two and a half double space typed pages. So what I have in front of you here is the essay assignment both of the questions, and in between them I have just a little outline uh, that you could possibly follow when you write your essay. So here's our first essay question. Now remember, you only have to choose one, and you have a choice of two. So our first question is, both Rabindranath Tagore and Joaquin Maria Macchiaggio de Assis use realism in their stories. What qualities of realism do these stories demonstrate? What would you say are the major qualities of a realist story? Use references to the instructor's material and both stories to support your answer. So in this question, I ask you to show me what is so realist about these stories. And you can refer to my material in the module and the stories to support your answer. So remember that this is an essay question and your answer should be an essay form. So you should have an introduction paragraph at least two body paragraphs and a conclusion. So here in the intro paragraph, remember the introduction of an essay should provide a little background on the authors you're discussing and it should state your thesis. And so here you would include a little bit of background on Rabindranath Tagore and Joaquin Maria Macaujo de Assis. They are, you know, realist writers who lived during a certain time period, who were from a certain area. That's the kind of information that you'd want to include. And then define realism. Realism is a kind of fiction that has an omniscient narrator, shows different social classes interacting, shows a moral dilemma or a moral question and contains abundant details from everyday life. Those are all major qualities of realism and you could focus on any one of those in this essay. And so your thesis would be something like realist fiction contains, maybe you want to focus on the fact that it contains a moral question or moral ambiguity. Maybe you want to focus on the fact that it shows different social classes. Either one of those is fine. What you would do next is have a body paragraph, one for each story, at least one. You could possibly have two. One paragraph on Rabindranath Tagore's story and the different realist qualities we find there. We see representations of the poor. The Ruiz are very poor. We see representations of the middle class. We see a moral question. There's the question of why Chandra does what she does and if she's right to do that. Then in the second body paragraph, you want to focus on the cane by Macchiaggio de Assis. What are the realist qualities there? Do we see different social classes? What is the moral question? What is the moral ambiguity that it shows us there? What is the uh, abundance of everyday details that we see from Senorita's home? All of that is, make, is what makes this a realist story. And then in the conclusion, you want to summarize your main points and reflect a little on what realism is. A conclusion should always include a summary of your main points and something for the reader to think about. So here, that would be realism and what makes these stories realist. Okay, then we have number two. Our second possible choice for the essay is about the modernist authors we read. So here we are. Number two, the modernist authors we read, Lu Shun and Ryonosuke Akutagawa, experiment with the short story form by using different narrators for their stories. Analyze the way that these authors experiment with using various narrators and various perspectives to tell their stories. Why do these authors use this strategy of multiple narrators? What is the effect of this technique? Do you think the author is trying to make a statement by using this strategy of different narrators? Use references to the instructor's material and both stories to support your answer. So here, 
I ask you to refer to the stories as well as my material in the module to answer this question about how these authors use different narrators for their stories. So, similar structure to the previous one, you want an introduction that has some background on both of these authors. Who are they? Where did they live? What time did they live? Right, so tell me a little about Lu Shun and Akutagawa. And then you want to talk about this experimentation with different narrators. These authors don't use an omniscient narrator for their stories. They use different perspectives. And so what is the effect of that? Your thesis statement should be that both authors experiment with using different narrators in their stories. You could go into a little more detail there if you like by explaining how. Lu Xun uses a frame story. He has a story where someone finds a diary and we get the perspective of both the person who found it and the person who wrote the diary. Akutagawa gives us different perspectives of the same crime in his story in a grove. So let's get into the details here the body paragraph again have at least one body paragraph about Lu Shun's story diary of a madman and at least one paragraph about Akutagawa's story in a grove Lu Shun's story diary of a madman what kind of narrators do they use there focus on that in this first body paragraph we have the elder brother we have the the person who found the diary and then we have the diary writer, the one who goes crazy, thinking that everyone is turning into a cannibal. What is the effect of these different narrators? Well, honestly, the effect is one we trust and one we do not. The diary of the madman, the madman, we question his sanity and his ability to perceive what's really going on. So what is the effect of that? Is Lu Xun making a statement there? I think he's building an allegory. I think there's a hidden meaning in this story. I think cannibalism really refers to something else, to maybe conformity or, well, I'll leave that up to you to decide. The second body paragraph for this essay would focus on Akutagawa's story in a grove. Here, he uses various narrators to tell essentially the same event. But we get all these different perspectives. So what is the effect of that? The effect here is that Akutagawa kind of puts us into the position of the detective to try to figure out what really happened. And so then for this essay, I would conclude with, again, a summary of my main points and then some reflection on, well, what is the effect of these different narrators? What is the author trying to do here by showing us many different kinds of perspectives? So, remember, when you write your essay, do not use any AI program to help you. I am more interested in hearing what you have to say about what you read in this course. And remember also, only refer to the stories that were assigned in this course. Only refer to the translations that I use in the module. Don't refer to any other outside text for this assignment. You don't need it. Just want to know what you think about what you read. I look forward to reading your thoughts.